Hello. All right, guys, I'm going to be recording this a second time, um, but I'm going to be recording some gameplay of Drive Club VR for the PlayStation 4. And I have a Thrustmaster T150 that I got a really good deal on on Facebook, and that's the steering wheel and the pedals that you see under there. So I'm going to be playing with the headset and the steering wheel and the pedals. And I already recorded a, a game of, uh, or a video of me playing this um, for the first time moments ago, for about 20 minutes or so, and at the end of the video I stood up and then I had a little bit of butt crack showing <laughs> at the end of it, and I'm like, I was going to upload it anyway, and I'm like, uh, I'm like, well, I want to play the game some more, so I'm not going to upload that. I got a belt on now, and um, <clears throat> so I'm more prepared. So, I'm going to come over here and uh, I'm going to get the mouse too so I can easily shut it off the video from there. So, hopefully the audio will be recorded fine. You can see the screen good enough. Uh, when I watched the video that I just recorded, it seemed like it was alright. So, I'm going to put on the headset and get ready to go here. And I might go ahead and take these controllers and remotes and everything off of there because this can rattle the table a little bit. Um, <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Oh! Gotta get this set up straight. Got it. Gotta kind of center the view. I think... Uh, I can move my seat over a little bit more. Okay, good enough. Okay, all clear. So that was my first time checking it out. Now I'm going to know a little bit more about getting into it. Um, but at first it made me race, and then um, <coughs> then it, it, it unlocked all these options for me, and I was going to go into a single race but I couldn't uh, because you had to unlock more to unlock the cars and stuff. And so the best that I was able to do on uh, this first tour race was fourth place before I shut off the video. So we're going to be trying to get first. I've got to kind of get these pedals set up. Um, but then I did unlock some cars to where I could um, do some of the single tracks and when I did the single track it was like a night time which was pretty cool um, so you can you can change it to, to where the weather whether it's cloudy or clear or we know whether it's day or night um, I feel like this needs to be centered a little more. I'm off to the left. Um, okay. Now I should be able to... Let me see where the options is on this controller. Down here. Okay. There we go. Now we're talking. Not straight. And so I tried uh, the view of racing in the car, which is kind of the cooler way to go. But also seeing the car on the screen is fun too. You know, there's plenty of arcade games where you see the car. Well, usually you can change your view in the arcade games anyway. Like I said, this is a pretty simple track. I was only able to get fourth. Uh, I was really close to getting like second and then right at the end there I messed up. But And I don't expect to get first right off the bat on this one. Um, I was able to get this Thrustmaster T-150 for $80 on Facebook Marketplace. Somebody was selling it used. They said they had just bought it three months ago and they didn't want it for whatever reason. And uh, the, the new value, you know, to buy it new was like $200, so it was less than half. And um, uh, I took a risk and I was really blessed to, I was blessed to definitely have help on that and everything. But, uh, you know, $200 is a big hit, and even $80 is, for me, especially it was, but... I've always wanted a steering wheel and pedals for the racing games, because 
I've recently got into the gun games, you know, having the physical guns, like the whole arcade experience. And and after I got this uh, VR headset, I thought, you know, what a great time that, you know, it would be, someone would be selling one for less than half. Some of the steering wheels and pedals get cheaper, but they also get more expensive. This is a pretty decent one because it has this force feedback where it jerks and stuff uh, more like a real steering wheel would. And so a lot of people say, you know, you can get cheaper ones without force feedback, but they're not even worth it because, you know, it's not even like anywhere even close to realistic. Um, you know, even in the arcades, usually the steering wheels will jerk and stuff. And so it's more than just vibrating, like it vibrates when I go off track and stuff, but then when I turn or I hit the wall or something, it'll give a strong jerk. But I'm in first, so I don't want to think too much about it, but like I said, I recorded the video and I already gave this like two or three attempts, and so this is probably like maybe the fourth time, and I'm not, not home yet, but I'm doing better than I have been. I was never in the lead like that and now I get passed up. I would definitely suggest the steering wheel. Like I said, I mean two hundred dollars brand new is a lot of money. You'd try to find it used, but now if you mess up there's a button that you can press to get right back on the track. Uh, it'll reset you and it put me behind obviously I'm probably not gonna get first this time. If I'm even lucky enough to get, you know, anything beyond last here, but that's the finish line. There we go. So I was doing pretty good until close to the end there. We're just going to keep retrying this because I have to beat this. And even if I lose, uh, you still level up. You get points and stuff. See, I unlocked a new car. Oh, that car looks cool. Okay. Alright. Well. Going to restart. I'm going to try again. But, yeah, this, to me, this is the best, this is the best thing to get the steering wheel for. I mean, you get the, to the total immersion experience of the racing here. It's great. Oh! And I had my mom sample this on the demo with the steering wheel, and she loved it. I think it's so cool because it's the thing it's something that a lot of people are going to enjoy. You, I mean, you know, generally people know how to turn the wheel and how to press the gas. And so it's not a game where all these buttons do different things and you got to really understand a lot of stuff. And it's just like, hey, just hit the gas and you move forward, turn the wheel, you know, it's just like driving a car. And so a lot of people can enjoy this. Even if people aren't like a gamer, you know, generally you know, most people are going to enjoy this somewhat. But it's going to be awesome, you know, for me learning how to drift better and getting better and better and unlocking more tracks and cars. It's already a good feeling that I feel like I'm accomplishing, you know, I'm doing better in this race than I was. I don't know what I get for following that line. I think it's giving me extra points or whatever, but I don't really know what the purpose of that is yet. As far as switching the gears, uh, if you want to drive like a manual vehicle, um, there are little shifters on the side of the steering wheel, which I'd probably be dri dri driving automatic most of the time, but uh, even then, you know, I can use it to go into neutral or go into reverse if I wanted to. There are these little things right here on the side where my hands are. I might make it this time. I might make it in first. Whoa. On. Can't believe I, I just... That first video that I recorded, I just skimmed through. And I checked out like the ending of it and I saw that I stood up and then, you know, my butt crack was kind of sticking out. It's like, uh, maybe it would have been funny, but probably more would have been gross for most people, so. 
It's not like my whole butt was exposed, but it's just, you know, it's gross even talking about it, right? Ooh! First, yes! So this is a lot better f video for me to upload anyways, because it doesn't look like I stink so bad at this game. Now what did I unlock? 24 miles left. 5 events left. 6 events left. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. What's next? Uh, I'm gonna go back and go to the single event like I did the last time. Go to race. Let's see. I went to Scotland last time. We got Canada, Chile, India, Japan, Norway, Scotland. Let's go to Norway this time. I haven't done one of these sprint tracks yet. Hmm. This is pretty cool with the mountains. Let's try this one. I don't know if I want it to be nighttime again. Oh. So yeah, you can choose the time of day, like exactly how bright or how dark you want it to be, basically. This is going to be cool, the mountains. Is this noon? Alright, let's just go with noon. We got clear, cloudy, random. I can show you some of the cars that I've unlocked. There's a lot left to unlock still, isn't there? I just unlocked this one. That looks so cool. The other car that I unlocked first, one of them that I drove at night, it kind of reminded me of like the Batmobile. Oh, this is neat. I wonder where that is. It reminded me of like the modern Batmobile from um, like Batman Begins, The Dark Knight. Mm. I unlocked a Volkswagen Beetle too. There's all kinds of different cars in here. Okay, this is the one that I thought kind of looked like the Batmobile. From the back and stuff, it looks pretty cool. I wonder if there's a way to rotate it, inspect vehicle. There we go. That's so cool. Seeing this in VR, like the 3D in front of you. So cool. I want to go back to the other one though that I just unlocked. If I can find it. You know, um, there might be a minor uh, graphics downgrade to the, from the VR to playing it like on the regular PS4. Obviously, the PS4 is one of the most powerful consoles out there. The graphics are great. Can you open the trunk? Wow! Or lift the the thing, whatever that is. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, anyway. But I think the graphics look great. I'm just saying, I've, I've read some people kind of complain about that, but you know, people complain about everything. So who cares? Hmm. That looks kind of nice with the white mountains and stuff. I might choose to actually see the car in this one instead of driving like behind the wheel. Um, I said before that people complained about the uh, the steering wheel. Some of them said that the steering wheel is smaller than your regular vehicle steering wheel and um, Oops. I don't think so, though. I think it's fine. And they said it, f it feels like cheap and plastic, but it feels um, it feels great to me. But that's what's cool about the VR is being able to look around, look down and stuff.
Okay. But I'm gonna drive like this to see the car. Let's go. This was a sprint track, so interesting. Man, this is great though. I didn't look at the handling or anything on this car, so I have no f idea like how fast it really is or anything. <laughs> oh man. Oh no. Okay. Oh, I messed up. I'm way behind. I'm not very good at the drifting at all. I'm trying to go too fast around these corners. I'm just going to enjoy the ride now. I know I'm not going to win this race. Man. I wonder how, how this car's handling was like. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? It's always fun to be able to knock signs out of the way. See if I can put it in neutral here. Okay, that's yeah, downshifting and upshifting it. <laughs> I was not very good at this. Tunnels are always fun. like a tunnel's made out of ice like in the mountains or something. Not so good on that one. I'll try one more track. Um, try the uh, the Batmobile car. Try one with laps. Oh, let's do Japan. That's got to be different. I wonder if it would be cool at night with like the city lights and stuff. Let's try it a little darker. I should have looked at the handling on that car. It's 
I'm curious. Whoa, it's actually got, like, it's almost topped out. Hmm. Maybe that's not a good thing for me. This other one was pretty good, but the drifting wasn't good. I could drive the Beetle. <laughs> no, I was gonna drive this one. Yeah. Try the yellow, it's different. This music's kind of cool, I turned it up in my headphones. Whoa, the screen's freaking out on me. What the heck's going on? In the dark. Got a yellow helmet to match the car. I was about ready to hit the reset button. Now I'll probably have to. <laughs> I probably messed it up worse. Oh my. Oh no. Doing terrible. Okay, I'm turning the headset down. Yeah, another thing is that the steering wheel has like a clamp on it. <clears throat> so I just got it clamped to this table, which works great. It's with this chair and everything, I think it's like the perfect height. They make like stands for them and stuff, but it's really not needed. Once again, doing terrible on this track. But I love the total arcade feel of this. I mean... I'm sure there's always ways to make games better and stuff, but for people to complain about this game at all, really... It's probably one of my new favorite racers. I mean, I don't... I don't see what's a better experience than this, really, when it comes to racing games. And I don't know if I mentioned in this video, because I know I mentioned it in the first one, but um, this steering wheel, this Thrustmaster T150, it's compatible with the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4 and computer, so it can be used on a lot of different things. Switching the view up. Well, this is weird at night seeing that line with the uh, the windshield. It looks kind of just like a random line across the car. I know what it is, but... I'm not like totally behind these guys. 
seems like a track where you can't get a whole lot of speed up on it anyways. It's kind of a small track. A lot of curves. Oh. Alright. Well, this game's fun, but I'm going to end the video now. And this time with no butt crack. Oh. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, tune in next time. God bless.